Hi, what's up you guys? How's it going? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. What are we doing today? So, the main thing we're doing today is a tour of my working from home setup or home office setup, whatever you want to call it. As you may or may not know, I'm a full-time software engineer at Bloomberg and I started my job remotely in October and I'm currently working from home just like most people are. So I thought I'd share with you what my setup looks like. I'm gonna show you the furniture that I use, my tech, my gadgets, my organization, we're gonna go through everything. I hope you find it interesting. Maybe you can steal an idea or two if you see anything that you like. So that's the plan. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate your support and let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So this is basically an overview of my station and I think we can start with whatever's on top of the desk. First we have my personal laptop and this is my personal phone. Then right next to it I've got my work laptop and actually one of my work laptops. Currently I'm on my lunch break so it's just chilling. Then I've got my mouse, I've got this notebook for like just quick notes to do lists and I really like it. This is actually made from a circuit board. I got it from Manchester's Science Museum and I think it's pretty cool. A pen pretty standard. Then we have this beauty. If you've seen my video from last week where I get this monitor, you know just how excited I was to get it. If you haven't seen the video, I'm gonna leave a link somewhere here. This is a beautiful 27 inch HP monitor, which is absolutely amazing. I can do all of my editing on it. I can do my actual work on it because I can open a million windows. So it is perfect. Right now it's connected to my personal one. That's why it says Petya's MacBook. This is my main like tech right now. I've got my glasses over there. And moving on, we've got the bamboo stick that I just got from Ikea. And I got this vase from TK Maxx yesterday. It was like five pounds. It's great. So then I've got my bottle of water. Nothing too interesting. I've got this stationary organizer and a bunch of pens and pencils. I've got, this is like um, glasses spray, spray for cleaning your glasses. A bunch of erasers. This is my running headphones. They're like truly wireless, so they're just chilling. I've got this spray for cleaning displays and screens. A remote for my light. This is for authenticating at work. I've got some allergy pills some notebooks from the friends advent calendars uh, you might have seen those before some regular notes this is my old pixel phone i still use it sometimes so it's chilling there right here at the end we have this wireless charger which is just hiding in there and my old pixel can only be charged um wirelessly because i had a cable melt inside of the usb port so that doesn't work and over here are all of the notebooks and stuff that i use this is the book that I'm currently reading, which is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but I never have time for it. Then I've got these two notebooks for work. They're both for work, but I use them for different things. This one is for training and this one is for my regular work. So I like to keep those separate. Then this big notebook is just my German notebook. I use that for my German classes. We've got my tablet over here that I use when I draw mainly, but I haven't really been drawing much lately. And then I've got this really cute planner, but that's for 2021, so I haven't used that. It's just sitting there. So these are all the items that I use on a daily basis and I like to keep there. I like to keep a box of tissues near me. Let's quickly go on this side. I've got a lamp. This is a really good lamp. I got it from Lido like years and years ago when I was studying and it's still working and it's great. And we got this little guy that is also from the IKEA hall that I believe went up yesterday. So I really like the way all of these look. Oh, this pink thing is a mat that I got on Amazon and I think it's great. I wanted a pad for my mouse and I found this and it covers like a bit more area and it's protecting the desk which is really nice because I've already dropped my tripod on the desk and it has a dent somewhere here underneath so I quite like this. I think it looks pretty decent. So let's go to the storage. By the way, this desk has like a cable thing. So most of the cables are over there, but there's still some hanging. So first of all, we've got this guy. I got this from Ikea and it was like 12 pounds. I'm gonna show you what I have in it. So the first drawer is just basic stationery. It's like your pens, pencils, highlighters. Oop. I've got my iPhone for work, which I'm not using right now. Calculator, some more notebooks, just basic stationery, some stickers from the <laughs> calendar, from the friend's advent calendar. So that's pretty basic. Then, this might look a bit messy, but it's not. There's a system. So basically in this big container right here, 
These are all of my USB micro cables. Just your standard USB cables and chargers. Because I have so many gadgets. I have so many cables. Like I literally have this full box of cables and some power banks as well. I think this is from my old phone, so I don't really use that anymore. Here on the small side, I've got, this is another wireless charger that I got from work, but I haven't used it yet. I've got some USB-C cables, and I also have some cables that are just random. Like this is from my Garmin watch. This is charging my foot pad for running. This is basically like random cables. And there in the back, I have two hard drives. And this little guy, I have some flash drives, like a small, small ones that I don't really use anymore, but I still keep there. I've got some headphones here on the top. The bottom drawer is probably my favorite because this is most of my drawing stuff. There's some brushes. This is full of art supplies, a big sharpener, some pens. And underneath, I've got my watercolor set, some pens and, you know, other stuff watercolor pens this is a tiny sketchbook that i like to keep here I, I have a lot of sketchbooks but most of them are in the bookcase but this is what this bottom drawer keeps and that's this little guy and it's really really handy to be honest it's not the prettiest so it's good if you can hide it under a desk and on the other side very randomly i have my nightstand because basically since i put my desk here there is no space for my actual nightstand and it came with the flat so i can't sell it or do anything with it so I have no other place to put it. Maybe in the future it's gonna go in the storage room once we get rid of some stuff in there. But for now it's living here. I still use it. This is my other work laptop, which I'm currently not using. So it just lives here with its charger. And I've got another drawer, which just has some really random items. My passport, some earplugs, some antibacterial surface wipes. I've got some phone cases for my new phone, these are my dad's headphones, and just completely random stuff, and there's more space here. Did I show you the trash can? It's just a bin, nothing really interesting. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, this desk. I gotta tell you, this desk is my favorite piece of furniture that I have ever owned. It's so massive, it's actually perfect if you're like a software engineer or anybody who needs a couple of screens or a couple of laptops. It has so much surface area, you can have two screens, you can have two laptops, you can have a bunch of notebooks, a lamp, a decoration piece, a waterboard, all at the same time. I cannot recommend it enough if you have the space for it. Bear in mind this desk is huge, like I didn't expect it to be that huge. Even though I read the dimensions, it still shocked me when I assembled it, but it's great. As you can see, it's pretty big and this is the best part. Let me move this. Okay, we're rolling again. My battery died again. What else is new? I don't know what I was saying, but I think I was showing you the desk and I was just saying how big it is. And I want to show you the best part. My personal favorite. It gets even bigger. I love this. So basically, there's like this extension to the desk. And by the way, it can be uh, put on either side of the desk. So it doesn't matter. Whenever I don't use it, I just keep it in. Because I just don't like when it takes too much space. But it's absolutely brilliant. You can put another laptop if you still need more. And yeah, obviously it's absolutely amazing. The fact that it, it, you can push it in is the best part. Because this desk allows you to have the space in your room if you don't need desk space. I don't know if that makes any sense. I hope it makes sense. Is there anything else? I feel like we went through most of the things. Oh, the chair. So this is my chair. <laughs> I got this chair on Amazon. I think it was relatively cheap. It was like 80 or 90 pounds, which for an office chair is pretty good. It's not the best chair, but it does the job. I like that they had it in gray because I felt like if the chair was black, it would have drawn a lot of attention because everything else is white. So that's why I got a gray one. The only downside is that it stains pretty easily. So you need to be careful when you're snacking with cookies and I'm speaking from experience. I feel like this pretty much covers my working from home station. I am pretty happy with the setup that I have now. I have everything that I need. I have this massive screen, which makes makes my life so much easier. I don't think I'm getting anything else for now. I might get like an external keyboard at some point, but for now I feel like I'm set. And 
yeah <laughs> i feel like when you're working from home it's like super important to have a really comfortable station where you can work easily hope you found this interesting and i hope it helps if you're looking for ideas for your home setup that's pretty much the end of this tour i think we can go ahead and check the calendars now i'm gonna start with friends which is totally falling apart at this point and da, 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 da. I bet it's another pencil. And I was right. I'm always right, by the way. Oh my god. Do I even need to say anything else? <laughs> Let's do Harry Potter next. So, to be honest with the Harry Potter calendar, I don't see myself using a lot of these things so I'll probably give it away once I'm done with it and I want to give it to someone who's gonna enjoy it more than I will but I gotta say the, the things that are inside are pretty good quality I mean it was also the most expensive one so I guess that makes sense The Makeup Revolution It's a lip gloss and I don't think I like it <laughs> To be honest, it looks like it might be completely clear once you put it on your lips, so maybe it won't be this color, but if that's the color, then that's a definite no-no. Smells nice. Actually, it's pretty clear once you put it on, so maybe I can use it. Oh, I guess this is all for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 11. Bye, guys!